Lauren Steyer, and today I'm going to give a tour and artist talk about the collages that I have made for the last few years. The City of Tacoma has offered me the Tacoma Artist Initiative Grant, and my responsibility towards that grant has been to create a collage a week and to have a public showing of the work. The Alma Mater Art Center in downtown Tacoma was to show my work during the month of June, but here we are in my home. So we'll begin today. Collage comes from the French word meaning to glue, and glue for any collage artist has become an enormous subject. Everybody has their favorite glues, everybody's very loyal to their glues. To me, I have my favorite glues as well. So. Pretty much like everybody, glue sticks are fabulous and always can be used. But say you're working on a large piece, like a poster, you're not gonna sit with a glue stick in your hand for a long time. So then you have the dreaded spray adhesive, which is very sticky and you cannot move it, but it's necessary. So then what else can you use? So this is a glue paste. You apply it with brushes. I really like this. It sticks to the edges because that's something that you want. You don't want things peeling up. And again, a dreaded thing within collage is for the papers to bubble and peel and wrinkle. It just, in my mind, ruins a piece. So then you can have this handy dandy scraper that you can smooth out your pieces. But as you can see, there's all kinds of glues. This is very similar to Elmer's. Um, you have to just see what the weight and porousness and size of your paper is to determine it. But I think if you want to begin, you grab some glue sticks, you grab a little of the glue paste, and I think you'll be good to begin. Now, the only other tool that's a big one is what do you cut your paper with? And again, I'm very simple. I just use a little pair of snips that I like, and of course, X-Acto knives. And that's really all the equipment you need. This desk has been really great. It's a drafting table so I can lift it up. It also always gives me a place that I can go to. Cutting board, very important. You're always working with X-Acto knives and sharp blades, so you need to cut into something. What's also nice is it becomes your canvas, so you can kind of design your work and get a sense from what edges are or what you're working on. And you can bring it with you. You can just lift this up and bring it with you. Lighting is also very important. This is an embroidery light I got and it's a big magnifying screen so I can just really bring it in close and still have a lot of good light on my work. Of course, with collage, you have to have lots of storage of things. And so I have um, an ever-growing number of file cabinets and various things for all the paperwork. And so now I thought we'd begin the tour. So in this piece, this is influenced by the pandemic. So it's called, no matter how much we protect ourselves, we're still permeable. And in this piece, what I was experimenting with is starting to weave other images within an image. And I really like that idea and will pursue that. But what's also interesting, it's just a very simple piece. It's the figure, the weaving, and the background. So you just resist the, image, the temptation to put like a bird or anything else. Just keep it simple and let it make a statement. I move over to my most complex piece. And this one was influenced by Hieronymus Bosch, of course. Um, and it was also influenced because when my son was young, we had a great love of hidden pictures. So throughout this, there's just things hidden all over the place. And it's an old sta statement from, you know, village days where it says, the field has eyes, the forest has ears. So it's all about gossip. This one, and a few others are done on wood. I really like working on wood. It's very flat and it has a nice background to it. This one is called, I'm suffering from overstimulated numbness, which we all are. This one, I am not being too critical. 
These pieces I have just recently worked on and um, I can't go shopping for frames right now. So I just have them displayed on cardboard and in plastic. This was really nice. I was in, my work was in a show in Olympia, the play Noises Off, and they did this great poster of one of my collages. Here is, I've read your diary and I have some suggestions. Here is a three-dimensional box that I did saying, despite everything, there are still moments of joy. And this one again has some woven faces that emerge from the background. This is another embroidered piece. I've embroidered her hair and I've embroidered the tree behind her. And this one's called On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. Here we go to another box that I have done. I'm enjoying doing boxes. I'm going to carry on with that. This is another embroidered piece. And I think now I will switch and go into some in-depth work. This piece is called What She Really Wanted was to just stop worrying. And I love the feeling of this piece when it was complete because it just felt that moment when we've gone through a challenging time and we know we've come out of it and there's a sense of peace and restfulness that comes from that moment. And as I thought about this piece further, I also saw it was showing that a lot of times what we feel are these outrageous challenges and we build up big structures to handle them could really be just a simple creek that we could step over. COVID pandemic, quarantine day number 154. I love positioning old Renaissance art within architectural digest homes. And this home is so clean cut and stone walls. I particularly love the man on the couch who was just passed out and the wine glasses poured around and just the pathetic quality that we're living in these days. I call this one, if you have one opportunity to seize everything you've ever wanted, would you capture it? Or would you let it slip away? The main image of the women I found in a 1950s old life magazine. And I just love the way the artist rendered the women with their girdles and all the ways you could wear them. I then gathered images from uh, the sea stacks along the Oregon coast. And then some examples of good black and white photography with the geese. And then another one with the fences. I was really struck. I like just all the tonal quality of the black and white and the oddness of the women marching towards the water. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. I want to thank my son, Miles, for being such a patient videographer for me today. I also want to thank my husband, Nick, for always being my number one fan. I want to thank the City of Tacoma for the very generous grant to us artists. We really appreciate it. And I very much appreciate working with Naomi Strom Avila. She makes going through paperwork and bureaucracy so easy. Not fun, but so easy. So thank you all very much. I appreciate your support and all the best.